Okay, so let's continue with the API part. So to post this form data to the API, you could just go to your controllers folder, add a new controller, but I am going to put that in my shared API project and add a controller there. Let's see, files controller. I always like to make regions called post. I don't know if I should call it upload files or upload images. Um, let's just start with this from. We want to get the files from the form data, so we do this and have a our innumerable I form file. Oops. Form file called. Yeah, of course, our thingy is called images, not files. Uh, so let's um, just. Let's also just for clarity the images. Uh, why this images thingy? Let me close those. Because we specified in the form data while adding the content, we specified the name, which is images. Hmm. It's capitalized. I'm going to have to see. Normally, requests property should be camel cased or something lower cased. So we should actually use this images to get the contents. And let's for certainty do just do something like that to start. yet it's showing correctly. Of course, we didn't implement our call yet. So let's do that. I am going to make a, I am going to make a files service. Should I, in my front end, <coughs> which is just going to do the HTTP calls. The file service, I specify the base URL. I still have to make this one. Let's do public const string files endpoint is files. Right. <coughs> and then we want to make a constructor to access the HTTP client. Initialize it. And then we are going to create a method to call. We probably want to specify an interface. <clears throat> How am I going to call it? I Should I, let me see, just going to call it ISP files service for now. Maybe I should prepend it with shared or something, but let's not worry about it now. As an interface, ISP files service. And we are going to, Probably going to be a task. Um, 
Let's see. Just look at upload files or upload images. Let's um, call it upload images. Oops. And it's only going to need the form data, if I'm not mistaken. So that should be this type. If I can. Or, or is there a better type to use? Maybe just form data or something? No. Okay, form data like that. Hmm, okay. This should be an interface. Okay. And we have to register this in our configure services. Just like these files. Okay. Let's see what's it saying. Implement async and can I? I copy this over. Uh, this is going to base URL slash images. This will be form data. This logger I did not, could not. Um, Probably a better practice to just return the response that is success. But then we need to have the bool return type and adjust that in our interface. Okay. And instead of post JSON, it's just going to be. Let me just close all these other ones. I used to copy of the code. Um, okay, that should reach our endpoint. Uh, I didn't implement this upload. I'm now thinking if I should. Um, do this upload inside the shared component, or if whether I should just um, return form data and handle the actual HTTP call in my actual Blazor WebAssembly um, project. That's a choice you can make. Uh, it's probably not really reusable if I am going to what I'm doing now. I mean, so this would be, uh, we have to inject the inject ISPA files service and service. And this should be a service to upload images from data. And of course, we have to await this. And let's rerun our front end project. So I'm rerunning and I open my console to see if anything goes wrong. Oops, yeah, of course. 
I can only select one because I changed um, I changed my component specification where I use the component. I set this parameter. But let's just continue with one. Okay, I'm not seeing any errors in here. But I'm also not seeing anything in my API. I expect it to lock uh, the amount of images. Let's rebuild everything. Close everything. Might have just done something wrong, but um, let's rebuild solution. And I'm going to run the API in debug mode and then the project regularly. Okay, it's possible that I just did something. Uh, 404 false images is not found. False images post. So that's weird. Uh, before rebuilding the solution, I just saw nothing, and now I'm seeing this 404. So <laughs> I think rebuilding actually helped. And now we have to fix the error. That's string item. Oh, okay. Let's try it like that. Hmm. Also only allows to have one. But that has nothing to do with our code since we coded that in the front end, that logic. This is just Swagger preventing us. Let's see, that seems to have worked. As we see, a post to, ah, okay, this is localhost slash images, not files images. I have the content type of multi-par form data and we have our image specified with our content type. Let's fix the controller. It should actually say files slash images uh, since we are using the controller name as the prefix. I specified this slash. Mm. It shouldn't. Yeah, okay. It was that slash. That's weird that that can break your controller. Um, might be a feature instead of a bug. Maybe you want some endpoints to not have the prefix of the controller. I don't know. So now it should be good. And we're not seeing the HTTP error. So let's take a look at the API out console output. It says true. So it seems like it's working, which is great. Uh, the next thing to do is to upload these to the Azure Blob Storage. We probably want to do, yeah, maybe we want to do some extra checks on the, on the images here, um, but I'm not going to pollute the video with that. Let's actually do first dot name or file name it 
seems to be the same. Oops, what did I do? Let's try that again. No errors and hmm. ah, okay. This returns the images, which is really, really, really weird. Uh, I mean, at least not as I expected because this seems to be <laughs> this name instead of ah okay 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 i'm getting it so this is the name set to here and then we have the file name so now i'm thinking should i put those both as, as, as file name but i don't think so because i think the name is the, the property or the key name, I would say, from the request object. So now we have YouTube thumbnail.png. That's great. I should probably experiment some more with this uh, images key, this one, to fully understand it. I think that's directly linked to each other, but I um, can't say for sure. And I should probably experiment a little more with this max height and width, see what happens if a larger image uh, gets uploaded. It should convert and respect the original aspect radio, ratio, ratio, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> and I might have to do some more checks in here. It's perfectly reasonable, reasonable for you now to, I don't know, uh, store these images into a local folder if that's your requirement um, but if you're going to deploy to azure like i already mentioned that might not be a good idea to do so we are going to upload them to the azure blob storage to be continued <laughs> <laughs> 